This is a level 1 functional skills maths paper from AQA. It's split into two parts. In the first part you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Question 1. Circle the decimal with the same value as 3 fifths. So 3 fifths, if I am to represent it here using a bar, it will look like this. So starting with 0, ending with 1, we'd go 0 0.2, then 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and then 1. 3 fifths was here, so that is the same as 0 0.6. You could also think of 3 fifths being the same as 6 tenths, so doubling both numbers. 6 tenths is the same as 0 0.6, or you can think of it as 60 out of 100. That's still 0 0.6. So you could use different methods to get to the conclusion. Work out 40, take away 5 times 3. So we've got to do subtraction as well as multiplication. But we need to do multiplication first. That's the rules, Bidmas rules. So I'm just going to rewrite this as 40, take away 5 lots of 3, that is 15. So 40 take away 15. We need to take away 5 from the 0. So that means we need to borrow 1 from the 4. So this becomes 3 and this becomes 10. 10 take away 5 gives us 5. 3 take away 1 gives us 2. So 25 is the answer. Work out 0 0.2 times 0 0.4. There are many different methods you could use here. I'm just going to use the column method. So 0 0.2 times 0 0.4. So 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 0 is 0. Moving down, so we get 0 times 2 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. Adding. And now counting. The decimal places that is how many digits after the decimal point so we've got one here and another one here so that's two in total and that's how many decimal places will give the answer so we'll go backwards one two so 0 0.08 is the answer here are some values Complete the grouped frequency table. So value from 1 to 5. Then tally frequency. Let's look at how many values we have ranging from 1 to 5. So we've got 1 here, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we'll write that here. And we'll show the tallies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 to 10. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 6 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 11 to 15. Got one, two, three of them. One, two, three. Sixteen to twenty. We've got one, two. Let's check. So we've got five and six, that's eleven. Fourteen, sixteen in total. Do we have 16 in total here? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 times 2, that is 16. So we must have done this correctly. Six times 14 equals 84. Use this information to work out 840 divided by 140. 
circle your answer. So 6 times 14 equals 84. To change it around so it looks similar to this, we can do 84 divided by 14 equals 6. So 84 divided by 14, we could write it like this as well, can't we? So now we've got, on the other hand, 840 divided by 140. What is the difference between these two? We've got zeros being added to both. So that means that this is times 10 and this is times 10. And we know that to keep a fraction the same, we multiply or divide both numbers by the same number. So in this case, 84 over 14 is equal to 840 over 140. So the answer will be the same. For this one, it was 6, so for this one will be 6 as well. Work out the volume of this cuboid. So to work out the volume, we'll multiply length by width by height, or depth, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to have to multiply 8 by 4 by 5. 8 times 4 is 32. So we're going to do 32 times 5. Let's just use the column method. 5 times 2 is 10, so 0 down and 1 is carried over. 5 times 3 is 15 and the 1 is 16. So 160 cubic centimetres. Personal budgeting. Sasha has a budget of £1,700. She spends £1,200 of this on household bills. Of the rest, she spends one quarter on leisure, three fifths on clothes. How much of the £1,700 does she have left? So, to work out the rest, we're going to first do 1700 take away 1200 which gives us 500 so of this amount we've got one quarter spent on leisure so we're going to do 500 divided by 4 how many fours fit into five? That is exactly one with one remaining. How many fours into ten? That is two, because two times four is eight, and then we have two remaining. How many fours into twenty? That is exactly five, nothing remaining. So one hundred and twenty-five pounds that's spent on leisure. And then we've got three-fifths being spent on clothes. That is three-fifths of the 500. So what we're going to do is divide 500 by 5 and then multiply it by 3. So 500 divided by 5, we know that is 100. Times 3, that gives us 300. So We've got a quarter being equal to 125 and three-fifths being equal to 300. So if I add together 125 and 300, I get 425. And if I take 425 from the 500 pounds that she had left, I can work out what she has left at the end. So we've got to take away 5 from the 0, 
which means we need to borrow one, but then there is zero here, nothing. So we've got to borrow one from the five. So this becomes a four, this becomes a 10. Now I can borrow. So this becomes nine and this becomes 10. 10 take away five gives me five. Nine take away two gives me seven. Four take away four gives me zero. So 75 pounds left. Ahmed wants to buy a laptop. He can either pay the cash price of £689.95 or pay £73.50 per month for 10 months. How much more does the laptop cost if he pays for it monthly? So we've got this as the total price if he pays all of it in one go. And then we have this for 10 months. So we're looking to multiply 73.50 by 10. So by multiplying by 10, we're making this number 10 times greater. And to do that, when it comes to decimal numbers, we just move the decimal point one place to the right. There is one zero, so we're going to move it one place to the right. So this becomes 735.00 if you like, but you could leave the zeros out. Now the question is how much more does the laptop cost if he pays for it monthly? So this is if he pays for it monthly and I'm going to compare it to this. So what I'm going to do is 735.00 take away 689.95 So we've got to take away 95 pence from zero so we're going to borrow a pound from this, so this becomes 4, and that is worth 100 pence. So 100 take away the 95 gives us 5 pence. Now we've got to take away 9 from the 4. Again, we've got to borrow 1, so this becomes 14. Take away 9 gives us 5. 2 take away 8 means again we need to borrow 1, so this is 6 and this becomes 12. 12 take away 8 gives us 4, 6 take away 6 is 0. So that is 45 pounds and 5 pence. Jake draws a pie chart to show how he'll spend his income. Jake spends 420 pounds on household bills. How much more does he spend on clothes than on leisure? So that is £420 on household bills. We're interested to work out how much more he spends on clothes than on leisure. So we've got leisure here and we've got clothes here. So looking at the angles within the circle, we've got household bills being represented by 140 degrees and that had been 420 pounds so if I divide 420 by 140 then I'll know how many pounds each degree represents so how many lots of 140 would fit into 420? Let's try twice. 140 and 140. That is 280, so that is more than 420. Can I fit in another one? Let's try. So that is 0, 8 and 4, that is 12. So 2 down and 1 carried over. 2 and 1 is 3 and the 1 is 420 so exactly three times so one degree represents three pounds now that can help us compare the amounts spent on clothes and leisure so clothes we've got this 
right angle here, which tells us it's 90 degrees. So what we're going to do is 90 times 3, or 3 times 90. Three times zero is zero, three times nine is twenty-seven. So two hundred and seventy pounds, that is four clothes. Now leisure, we've got seventy degrees. So we're going to do seventy times three. 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 7 is 21. So, 270, take away 210, that gives us a difference of 60 pounds. So, that's how much more he spends on clothes than on leisure. And this is the end of the paper.